All right, guys, um, watch this video here for Thursday, April 9th. A quick reminder that the market is closed on Friday, so we're looking at a three-day weekend. So let me first start off by saying um, three-day weekends are a fantastic time to study. So uh, if you are not one of our students, if you haven't taken our course and you're interested in a, a really low price, I, I can't advertise it, but shoot me an email and I can send you a link. Um, because this weekend, you could study, study for three days and show up on Monday um, better armed than you are now with a, a whole host of A plus setups and and every other part of our course in your in your arsenal. So um, and actually for course takers too, Wayne on Wednesday is going to be doing one of those live mentoring sessions where hopefully he'll be able to trace you know trade some uh, some stuff live for for you course takers. So um, those are always awesome. I learn from Wayne every time he does one of those. So that's coming up Wednesday um, for course takers only. Also, I want to slide this over. Wayne and I talked about this. I actually think this is probably one of our best calls in chat over the past couple weeks, we kept telling people, everyone said, well, what about LK, isn't it a bargain? And I'd never tell anybody what to trade, but Wayne and I, our answer is with, to, to both, you know, to everyone who said, oh, what about LK? We just kept saying, I wouldn't trade this with anybody's money. Um, and then I actually tweeted this, you can see the date there on April 2nd, is anyone trading LK considered the possibility of one of those classic Chinese stock six month halts, right? Um, it's been halted, what, for a couple days now? I don't know if it's gonna be six months or if it's uh, gonna open tomorrow morning in pre-market, I don't know, but um, you know, that's what we try to do. We try to tell people um, if I, you know, whether or not we would put our money at risk. And to me, LK was never worth it. Back in the day, man, when I was a younger trader, I would have thought, wow, what a bargain, right? I'm gonna grab up all the LK I can. And over time, you start to learn risk reward. I mean, if, if, if somebody, if this thing would have doubled from the day that it uh, got, you know, got killed and then it doubled on a bounce, I would have been like, well, it doubled without me because I wasn't willing to risk money on something as dangerous as that. So um, we're actually both really proud that we kept people out of this because now I don't know how many people, thousands of people are stuck in LK. Guess what? If you're long or you're short, doesn't matter. You still can't, you still don't have access to that money now, do you? Um, so and just kind of an example that we do try to keep people safe and, uh, you know, and use our experience to help others. All right. So, um, what are we trading tomorrow? What are we looking to trade tomorrow? I've got a list here. GNMK, um, had a nice headline and a pretty strong close. So we're gonna look for a follow through day in that one tomorrow. PSTI. I think this is a super interesting chart. Um, you had the gap up, it ran, kind of tested these highs and then got slapped right back down. But look at this very next day really, really strong. So I love this one for a potential long, but only with a proper intraday setup. CAPR, one of my favorites going into tomorrow, just because you had a strong day, strong close, and then you've got this recent high at 225 just above. So, you know, maybe through two, it could take out that 225. Nice volume today too. Um, so we're gonna watch that. I got a couple oil plays on watch um, because oil was really strong again today. So I, I went with SLB. Today's high, 17.39. Yesterday's high, 17.70. I call that stat catalyst. So that's one I'm gonna watch. Um, and then this kind of cheap stock um, oil play, BORR had this big pop yesterday and just a real quiet inside day today. So that's the two oil plays I'm gonna watch. Um, you could really kind of pick any symbol that you want that's oil related, right? Um, NLS. Uh, this is Nautilus. They make uh, like home gym equipment, right? It closed at 240 and after hours, this is trading at 345 right now. Um, I, I tried to get some on a flush of three and after hours, it went through three, came back down. I didn't quite get my bid filled, uh, but absolutely gonna watch this for a potential gapper tomorrow. Um, Big Lots, B-I-G, uh, nothing really pretty here, but in after hours, this is trading around 18 bucks, which is recent resistance. Let's keep our eyes on that for a possible gap play. USWS. Now, I don't trade stocks in the 27 cent range, but in after hours, this is trading right around a buck and actually went over $1.20 at one point. So, uh, who knows, right? I think that might be also an oil play. Anyway, we're definitely going to watch that one tomorrow for a potential gap and go. A couple more. B I O L. Massive move today. I traded this one a couple times today. Um, and then O S T K, the famous overstock. Um, you know, kind of topped out back here around six bucks, kind of cup and handle and broke out today. So I, I missed the nice six break. So I already feel like I'm chasing, but it was good volume today and there might be a follow through day. I think there's a lot of shorts 
in overstock. So we're going to keep an eye on that one too. We'll find some other gappers to add in the pre-market and there should be plenty to trade. Remember, three-day weekend coming up. Um, you know, make sure that you take some time and, uh, and study. So uh, on Monday, you'd be uh, ready to go. All right. Um, great teamwork, everyone in chat. And we'll see you in the morning. And don't forget, markets close Friday.